how does it work? If I wanted to self, I don't even know what the term is, self-hypnotize? Self- self-hypnotize, yeah. All hypnosis is really self-hypnosis. You're allowing yourself to go into this state of highly focused attention. So if you use the Reverie app, I will teach you to just look up, close your eyes slowly, take a deep breath, let the breath out, let your eyes relax, but keep them closed, let your body float. Imagine you're floating in a bath, a lake, a hot tub, or just floating in space. And with your eyes closed and remaining in this state of concentration, please describe how your body is feeling right now. You want me to do that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was, I was feeling um, like pins and needles kind of like slowly moving down my body. Cool. Cool. So, so your body already feels different and you can picture yourself in this imaginary state and start to feel as if you were in it. So you're already ratcheting up your ability to control your body. And then if you have a problem, let's say you have, what, what kind of problem would you be dealing with? Um, I have GAD. So often it's this um, um, tremendous sense of doom. <laughs> mm, okay. This fear of uncertainty and the future and that everything is going to be worse, mm. honestly. <laughs> Well, that's actually happening right now, but we'll, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, but we'll go ahead and set that we'll aside. Go, we'll, we'll party on anyway. <laughs> All right. So let's try that. Let's try dealing with that. So once again, if you want, look up all the way up while looking up, slowly close your eyes, take a deep breath, breath out, eyes relax, let your body float, and then let one hand or the other float up in the air like a balloon. And that'll be your signal to yourself and to me that you're ready to concentrate. Good. Now let your hand rest in a comfortable upright position and feel your body floating as if you were in a bath, a lake, a hot tub, or just floating in space. Each breath deeper and easier. Now with your eyes closed and remaining in the state of concentration, please describe how your body is feeling right now. Uh, feeling tingly. Oh, see, I can't even see the microphone. It's feeling yeah. tingly. I'm pretty calm. Good. Where do you picture your body being right now? Uh, floating on the surface of a lake. Good. Now notice how quickly and easily you can use your store of memories and your imagination to help yourself and your body feel better. Now, what I'd like you to do is keep your body floating in the lake with that sense of tingling and buoyancy and picture in your mind's eye an imaginary screen. It could be a movie screen or a TV screen or a piece of clear blue sky. And first picture on it a pleasant scene. It might be the lake that you're in or somewhere else that you feel comfortable. And when you've had a chance to look at it, please describe what you see. Uh, I see like um, an old film projector screen set up. Mm -hmm on a dock at my cottage. Cool. Uh -huh. And so you picture the dock and the cottage and the, and the lake. Mm -hmm. Good. Now notice again, how quickly you can help your, bring to your present experience, those memories of the place where you go to feel good. Now, I want you to maintain this sense of floating and comfort in your body. Divide the screen in half and on the left side of the screen, Picture one thing that's making you feel bad right now that gives you that sense of gloom and doom. But with the rule that no matter what you see on the screen, you keep your body floating in the lake. Mm -hmm. What do you see on the screen right now? Um, the recession. Mm -hmm. Stocks your... falling, people freaking right. out right and how's your body feeling right now still pretty calm good so notice how you can picture something that legitimately worries you but keep your body calm and comfortable each breath deeper and easier and now i want you to use the other side of the screen as your brainstorming or problem solving screen picture one thing you can do about the problem on the left may not be the best thing or the right thing to do, but just something you can do while your body's floating. What do you see on the right side? I'm not going on Instagram. <laughs> Good. 
<laughs> Good. And how's your body feeling now? Uh, pretty relieved. Good. So notice how just identifying a problem while you keep your body comfortable and picturing one thing you can do about it gives you a, a better sense of control over the problem and how you react to it. So this is an ability you carry inside you and that you can use anytime you want to help yourself cope better with the real stressors in your life and keep your body comfortable while you do it. Now take a few moments to reflect on what this means to you in a private sense. And then when you're ready, we'll come out of the state of self-hypnosis together by counting backwards from three to one. On three, get ready. On two, with your eyelids closed, roll up your eyes. One, let your eyes open slowly. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> I feel um I feel so peaceful. Great. Yeah, and like my my normal dialogue would be how can I trust it? How do I know if that's real or if it worked or any of that? But but I'm but my body is so peaceful that it's like kind of just telling my brain like, eh, stop, stop all the <laughs> stupid stuff. What does that matter? <laughs> Good. Is that, that's it? That's, that's hypnosis? That's hypnosis. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's it. It's not as um, suggestive as I thought it would have been. <clears throat> right. What I'm doing is just sort of setting the stage for you to do what you need to do. And, um, I'm showing you how to do it, but then you're, you're running the show. You have got to hear the whole conversation I had with Dr. David Spiegel. We talk about how hypnosis can help you overcome anxiety. It can help you battle fears. It can help you hit that next level. Be sure to click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation.